from High Tech Legion, and we will be taking a look at the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 650 Ti. This happens to be and is the completion of the Kepler line of 600 series video cards from NVIDIA. The 650 Ti has 768 CUDA cores. It's got a base clock of 925 megahertz, a memory clock where the data rate is 54 megahertz, 5400 megahertz. It has one gig of GDDR5 RAM and it is 128 bit. Also, this only requires one six pin power connector, a 400 watt power supply, and maximum TDP on this is 110 watts. We have found that our gaming TDP is anywhere between 75 and 78 watts. Thermal threshold on this card is gonna be about 98 degrees Celsius, and it has 2.54 billion transistors for those of you who wanna know. So, in any case, let's go ahead and take a look at the card itself. You can see it has, it's very small, very compact. It is actually just about as wide as your PCIe connector is. So once you put it in, it's going to be as wide as that PCIe slot. We have a fan over, we have a fan in a very small shroud. Of course, you have your black PCB for NVIDIA. If we look at the front here, we can see our inputs. We have one, two DVIs, and then we have an HDMI out. Now this is the reference design, so this is what you're gonna get with a reference design. Other manufacturers have changed the uh, outputs and actually have put in a D-sub on there, display port. So depending on the manufacturer and which card you, you do purchase, you're going to see a little bit different outputs on the front end of the card. We go to the back of the card, Right here is where the PCIe connector is. As I said, a six pin PCIe connector. And then when we look at it this way, this is your PCIe 3.0 connection port to the car itself. So let's talk a little bit about the uh, 650 Ti. It is a GK107 GPU, which means GK, which is Kepler 107 GPU. It is built for the budget gamer. Basically, it's $150 to starting point for the reference board. Of course, other manufacturers may do different things to it, so the price might go up from there depending on what they're using and what they put in. You might get a little bit of different cooling. You might get a different PCB. You might get a different uh, phase control on there, power control on, on the board itself. But what we have found with this card, this is one of the first cards that we have ever tested to where we could actually use a high resolution, which would be 1080p, use some MSAA, a little bit of eye candy for you, sometimes up to 4X, we've even tried 8X. And what we've seen is we could actually game at acceptable frame rates, meaning 30 or more frames per second with this video card. This is a first for a budget gamer card. Now, I'm not saying that maybe its competitor AMD can't do it, but in our testing, it does it a lot better than the AMD 7000 series, which would be a 7700 gigahertz edition, which is this card's competitor. So based on our data, which we have in our review at www.hitechlegion.com, we have found that this is the perfect upgrade for those of you who might still be using a DirectX 9 card, those of you who might have a first generation uh, Fermi card from NVIDIA, or those of you who even have an AMD card and are looking for a little bit extra out of a card, a little bit more power, meaning gaming power as in the power to generate 30 frames a second at 1080p. For those of you who might have a 9600 GT, 9800, this might be a viable upgrade for you also. During our testing, we found that DirectX 9 games require a little bit more CPU when you're playing them, where DirectX 11 games don't require as much CPU, it's more GPU-based, and especially at the higher resolution, you're kind of taking 
the GPU out of the picture. So, I mean the CPU, sorry, out of the picture. So you're actually going to be using the GPU more. So even though you might have an older system, you're still going to get a good performance boost out of this card and it'll bring you to a level where you're not going to have to play at 1024 by 768 or 16 by 10 either. But in any case, great card. Visit us at www.hightechlegion.com for the full review. If I could keep it inside the frame here, that would be great. Thank you, everyone. See you the next time. Stay thirsty, my friends. Bye-bye.